Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two of making this journal. If you are new here, hello, my name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands. I do paper crafting, junk journaling and such. So this is part two, if you have missed part one, that is yesterday's video, I recommend you watch that one first. I put a link here. Yeah, you can click there. And it's also in a comment box, comment box below. Um, watch that one first so you can see how all of this came about and then come back. I'll wait for you not long <laughs> and then uh, you can see how we are going to finish this one so today what i want to do is decorate all the signatures <clears throat> maybe i want to do some pockets on the inside or such don't know if we have time for that and uh, then glue them into the journal do some more decorating on the journal perhaps maybe make some pockets here don't know yet but let's first start with decorating these beauties let me clear something up first. I got a couple of comments by you lovely ladies uh, about my harmonica spine. Yes, it is an accordion spine. Let me tell you a little story. If you put a harmonica in front of me and an accordion in front of me, I can tell you which is the harmonica and which is the accordion. But any other word associated with accordion, like an accordion spine or accordion doors, yeah, these are the folding doors, I call them harmonica. I don't know what that is. It's my brain. Yes, so I do apologize for the confusion. It's an accordion spine. But forgive me if I keep calling it a harmonica spine. So yeah, let's clear that one up. So for decorating, I have printed some beauties out that I want to show you. And then let's just make some small collages on here. This is a small treasure that I found. These are receipts and bills and and such uh, these are french and old from 1926 i absolutely love these look at all these beauties i adore them it even came with a sort of a safety pin or paper clip style it's still on there so yeah i am not going to use these no these are way too precious look at this look at this yeah love it so what any sensible person would do if you have a scanner printer. I scanned them. Yes. And then I printed them. So I'm going to use this for decorating. And um, of course my lovely labels. I have some washi tapes that I want to use. This is the one that I've used uh, on the bottoms of the um, signatures. And these lovely ones. I am going to use my stamps. These ones. I got a lovely email from a subscriber who asked me, I am not on Instagram, can I please uh, buy your stamp set? Of course, if uh, there's anything that I mention in my videos that I tell you, oh, I'm selling this in my shop on Instagram. If you don't use Instagram, just contact me and we'll make it happen. So the sets of five are for unfortunately already sold. I now have sets of four. So this one is missing. It says received on. So I have a couple of these. And when these are gone, then I still have a couple of these. So the original sets were $11.95. The, uh, the sets of four are $8.95. And the sets of three are $5.95. So, yeah. If you're interested, please let me know. So I'm using these as well. Um, and some bits and bobs, you know me. Labels and postage stamps and oh, whatever. Glue, scissors, the usual. So get out your, if you are crafting along with me, I hope you are, get out your bit, bits and bobs and let's start decorating. I just want to do some straightforward, simple collaging in a corner, something like this. I know I will get a lot of questions from you guys about, can you please um, share the scans with us? Uh, I don't know because I don't know about the copyright on these and I don't know if it is legal to uh, share them with you guys but I'll, I'll do some investigating i just printed all of these out and cut them out with my paper cutter but i think i prefer to have them a little bit you know raggedy so i'm just tearing them there you go they are lovely though yeah so this is from 1949. So I really don't know. I don't know what the copyrights on these are. Are there copyrights? I mean, they're bills. So I have no clue. I want to use some 
washi tape underneath. Don't rip, and don't rip a washi. Uh, I get my washi tapes from AliExpress. I I cannot share links because I I don't know. <laughs> I bought them probably ages ago. Well, this is a rather new one. Du monde. That's French. So. That'll work well. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Are we going to ink it? <clears throat> yes. So this is going to be a, a sort of collage with me. Easy. Not very technical. The technical stuff will come later. I don't know if I'm going to do all the envelopes, signature thingies on camera. Because otherwise it will be a part three. <laughs> and we don't want that. We do not want a part three. So I want to have this on here, maybe with a label, printed out some label, storage label. See, because it is a sort of storage, isn't it? Yeah. So why not have a storage label on here? Like so, and then a stamp. Yeah. Shall we do a red one? No, we're not going to do a red one. I'm going to do a blue one. Probably going to have that. Yeah, going to have that there. Let's start. Let's start gluing, love. Quit your diddly deadly, <laughs> diddly deadly, uh, and start gluing. Let me get a glue page. Okay, so um, glue stick. There we go. I still don't know what this is called. <laughs> oh, it's still a you know file folder, envelope, junk journal, ephemeral holder thingy. Yeah. If you have a better word, please let me know. Because I honestly don't know. Let's have that here. What about stamp? Hopefully, this paper will like my ink. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's pretty. That's pretty. Let's have one more of those. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I love these. I love these. I love these. What's really nice about it that you don't need to get your ink out and your, your stamp pad and then your acrylic block or whatever. You know, you just, you stamp. Done. You want to have some numbers? Yeah, what I did, I made my, I made my own sort of labels. Uh, let me quickly show you what I did. I scanned um, this one. Yeah, and then I made labels out of some of the parts. Yep. I'm not very good at it though, but you know, you have to st start somewhere. World's best. Yeah, well, I am at harmonica spining. Yeah, world's, world's best. There you go. I don't think it needs a lot more. What it does need is a tap here. This is another uh, pocket. And I can make some sort of a thumb notch in it or something like that. But I don't want to. I want to use my labels. And then also have it function as a tap. Like so. See? So yeah, I'm going to do that straight away. Um, and I want them to uh, sort of cascade like... Is that a word? I believe it is. Am I gluing on the right? Yes. <laughs> on the right side. There we go. So the first one is not a problem. I'm just going to glue it on. Like so. Having it stick out the, a little bit where the, where the corners are. There you go. Yes. And so they all will have these tabs. But it, I cannot fit four on here. If I do this and this. It will leave a little. Well, 
I'm short a little bit. So they are going to sort of be like so. They are going to overlap. Let's call it overlap, love. See? Like this with all the other envelopes. Great. Do we want something here? Do we want another stamp? Yep. Oops. Because, you know, I have them. So why not use them? Urgent. Ooh, that's not really urgent. It's because there was something underneath. But still, um, I like it. Because it isn't perfect. Let's do another one. This one. This is going to be the last one. Why? Let me tell you. Because I want to stick on the label. So I'm going to stick on the label all the way to the other side. To the other end. And then the other two will be overlapping. But let's just put this one down. So we don't need to do any measuring for this. Such a good use for these um, labels. Make them into tabs. Yeah. And then they're almost all gone. So I need to make more. Yes. Quick question, guys. While I am sort of, you know, collaging. Um, I loved making these. And it's not rocket size, so anyone can do them. But I really want to make some more. Do you want me to uh, do that on camera? No, just have another let's make some label session. Or are you like, no, we get it now. You know, do something else. Just, just let me know. Because I'd be happy to film it. <laughs> and do some chit-chatting. No problem. This is, uh, yeah, from 1942. Again, it's French. Somebody had some notes and did some calculation on it. So, yeah. Love it, love it. It's going to be on here. Not a storage label. I'm going to do something blue. It's gonna, it is all going to be a little bit similar to one another. Because I want it to be like some sort of a, you know, I want them to fit together. That's what I want. These are two. Two lovies. Yeah. Um... Let's have a different kind of tape. I have this green grid tape. New. It's a new one. Oh, I can tell you why I bought this. I bought this at uh, Sustrene Grene. Yeah, is that sort of Scandinavian? Don't even know if it is from Norway or Sweden or whatever. Um, it is a shop in the Netherlands. A chain of shops. This here and here. And oh, we'll use that one there. No problem. Yes, it's very sort of um, uh, nature and, and sustainable and um, biological. You know, that kind of a shop. That cares about the environment. Makes... Uh, Recycled. Well, it's that kind of vibe. And it smells nice there. And they have washi tapes. Don't know how sustainable or environmental friendly the washi tapes are. But hey. I like them. I always think it's nice to find some... <clears throat> sort of junk journaling crafting supplies in shops where you wouldn't expect it. You're like, well, really? You have that? Yeah. Like Ikea. Ikea has sometimes some stuff that I'm like, oh, I can use that. No stamps? Yes, of course, stamps. I have a stamp here. It says, said, it says signed. Words today... Yeah, let's do one over here. I'm going to try one over there, but I'm going to do this. Will that help? No, it's the line underneath, mm, hopefully. Yeah, it worked. It worked. Great. Let's do another one. I think I want to use some sort of the same formula as the other ones. I 
having this one here. <coughs> these were actually uh, these sort of stamps that were on there. And that I just, you know, enlarged and printed as is. Yeah, I thought that might look nice. And this is a label that I have from AliExpress. It's like all of these. And I've used a total of two. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I keep buying this stuff if you don't use it, love? Yeah, why? Well, we don't know. I'm going to use the green one again. Oh, I'm going to use it in a different, in a different manner. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I glued on the wrong one. I inked this one. I didn't ink this one. Yeah, well, that happens. That happens. Pay attention, lovely. <laughs> and there we go. The Bank of Brussels. Does it have a date? 1939. Isn't it lovely? Let me show you. Cute, right? Yeah, very cute. I'm gonna do this like so, as if somebody sort of, you know, taped them down. If you're gonna use this, you're gonna lose 1939, you know, or you're gonna lose the stamp. Make up your mind. I'm not gonna use lose the stamp, no. Here we are. Do we need another stamp? Yes. Are you going to stamp on here? Yes. I'm just going to do it. Oh, ho, ho. yes. Ha! Really cool. Perfect. Last one. Okay, the last one. I want to use this. I love this one. I'm going to print this one again and again. It has some sort of a seal on here. And this is from 1942. Really lovely. And I just cut out this one. Road pen. Supreme Pennsylvania Road Pen Motor Oil. Is this a company that does still exist? I need to Google it. And this also came from the same sort of receipt. Yeah. So I'm going to have this one here. And this one here. And my red stamps. Yeah. Okay. I cannot really tell you how I made this. It's with, with, you know, 3D paint or something. I just started sort of trying to make some labels. And it, it worked. But I am no expert on this. I'm trying to be because I really want to make some... Um, I want to learn to make some beautiful digitals myself. Because I have so much beautiful papers to share with you. That I want to make into bit digitals. Yeah. Um, let's first see where I'm going to use this one. Um, probably here. Hopefully it will stamp okay. It does. And then of course on here. Hopefully this time it'll work. Yep. And one there and one there. Urgent. Yeah, lovely. This is something that I would like to use again and again. Cute, right? Uh, we need to attach two of the tabs. So this is the first envelope and this is the last one. So I'm putting these two in between. This one and this one. Yes. And now I need to sort of maneuver <laughs> where I want these to be. So over here, this needs to go on here. I think a little bit like so. And then the last one is also going. This is there's probably a much easier way to do this that I have not really figured out yet. It doesn't need to be that precise, Margaret. Come on. 
they need to sort of overlap. Yeah? Scooch it in. And this one. Okay, so I'm just going to make a mark here. Where I want to glue this one. And then I'm going to make a mark here. So I know sort of where to glue them to have them overlap with the rest. Or you could measure the whole thing, you know, with a ruler and such. I'm just eyeballing it. the top there you go let's see how that turned out well Pretty cool, right? With all the tabs. Yeah, love it. I have four labels left in this theme. I have a couple more in a botanical theme and I put them aside for a botanical project. But I really want to use these. I have four signatures, so I think I want to make four pockets. Yes. And I've printed these out. This is from Eva's Bohemian Crafting uh, Butterfly, Bl Butterfly Bl Blues, I think. Um, background pages and I printed them uh, smaller. To have a, some sort of a pocket and then put a label on it. Yeah, well, that's that's my idea. I am going to use my circle punch to punch out. Is it going to be the top? This is going to be the top. Doesn't really matter though. There you go. So I have two blue ones and two green ones. So I will alternate them. Of course. Because that's what I do. I'm going to have these as simple pockets. Just I'm gluing them on, four, on three sides. I'm not going to fold them and make them bigger or anything. It's just going to be fairly simple. Because I think it's already bulky enough. And it already has so much. So many pockets in there. So doesn't really need to have a lot of pockets but i just wanted to add a little something let's have my lovely queen on here on a map and a number yep let's get my blue page out yeah i'm not gonna add a lot more i guess well you never know i might add a number or so you want to add a stamp? One of your stamps. See if like so. Is this crooked? Yes. But it's glue stick. So you can still remove it. Let's see. Does that look better? Lots better. A lot better. Now let's see how this will look. In the signature. I'm taking out this one. And uh, let's have it landscape. Landscape, honey, landscape. Not portrait. So it needs to go sort of over here. Am I in frame? Well, I am now. I am going to use art for this. Not because it needs a lot of glue. But it needs a thin layer of glue. Especially if it doesn't have like these folds to make it bigger. I want this to be as big as possible. Just a small pocket. Like so. You guys are no help at all. No. Because we put it in like so. Yes. And I open this up. The pocket 
Um, well, it looks nice as it is, but if we put it up again, everything falls out. Yeah, so um, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to put a flap on it, a sort of a closure. Yes, that's, that's how I'm going to fix this. Uh, but for the other ones, I have decided to put the pockets on the last page. Yeah, like so. So if you put it up or down, nothing falls out. Ta-da! No worries. I called MacGyver. I have the guy on speed dial. Yes, because I call him all the time. Because I make boo-boos all the time. Let's see. Uh, it was this one, right? Yes. So the pocket is going to be upside down and then everything will fall out. And he was like, well, let me, let me think about this. And he came up with the solution. Yeah. Um, this is the solution. <laughs> I'll show you quickly. I will make one. Uh, because I think I want all the pockets to have this. I want to make a flap on the pocket. So what I did, I printed out another of th these pieces, backed it. You need to back it, yeah. And then cut it a little bit smaller because we already glued this down, yeah. So I cut it a little bit smaller, then slanted this piece because that slides in much easier. Rounded the corners on the top. And, and inked all around it. And now I'm going to slide it in. Up until this part. Don't have it all the way to the end. Because otherwise you cannot put the stuff in. This works much better. Yep. So then I folded it. Like so. So we're going to have a flap glued here. Yep. I don't think I want to make a real closure. However. However. I have this. Yes, why not use it, right? Let's see, do I have my fabric scissors? Well, I do now. I just want small pieces of this. Make it in uh, some sort of a, a tab on here. And I'm not going to glue it on there. I'm going to staple it on there. I have a tiny attacher. Well... That looks something that looks like it. It is, in fact, Heidi Swap. I think it was uh, half the price of the tiny attacher. I'm sorry, Mr. Tim Holtz, sometimes, you know. Let's have this in the middle. Now, hopefully, this will work because it doesn't always want to work. Come on, Heidi. Okay. Um, let's be sure. Because sometimes I make a mistake and then I staple it on not in a correct way. And in this way, it is also glued on. Just a safety precaution. But I really do like the effect uh, that a staple gives. So it's on there now. I'm going to staple it. See? Ta-da! There you go. So I'm gluing this part down. Oops. This is art glitter glue. So mind you, if it's in, love, it is in. Lifting this up. Shoving it in. Hopefully it will not stay. Yes. See that? Fixed it. And also, I like it much better than it was. Let me show you how I fix it, yeah? Um, I have a little piece of paper. Yes. I repeated my mistake. Because if you repeat the mistake, it looks on purpose. <laughs> well, that's my idea. So I need this to be a little bit smaller. So it will fit in here. And there you go. Yes, we can maneuver it in now. Well, we're going to taper it on the ends. And then uh, we're going to fold this over. This is going to be the flap. This big? Sure, this big. Let's have this straight. Yep. I'm going to 
slant the edges, not all the way to the top, just the bit that is not sticking out around these corners. Flip it over, honey, you're supposed to flip it over, then it would work better. I'm trying, guys. There you go. Now I need to ink it. So over here and on the inside, the parts that will show. Now before I glue it down, I want to attach my little sort of tab. Actually, you just need to glue. You don't need to staple it, but you know, I'm just going to staple it. Yes, on one end. And the other. Now let Heidi do her thing. There you go, Heidi. Yeah. And... Now we're going to have glue here, here, and here. And when you put the piece in, lift the, the pocket a little bit. Yep, like so. Be sure to have it straight. It needs to stick out a little bit. Yep. See? Ta-da! It is time to glue in the signatures because these have become so heavy. I am actually really, really worried <laughs> that they are too heavy to be glued in there. But, you know, it is an experiment. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Uh, but we're going to try it. I have been contemplating to uh, use uh, glue tape because I have glue tape that is very, very strong, very, very heavy. Uh, I could do that. But I think it will be very difficult to maneuver them in with the glue tape. However, I think I'm going to do it. Yes, I'm going to get the glue tape. Well, here goes nothing. Um, I love, hate this glue tape. Yes, <laughs> very much. It is very sticky. That is a very good thing. I like that. But it, it used to be smelly. It's not that smelly anymore, I must say. And the backing goes off not so easy. Let's see. I need to stand up for this. It doesn't go all the way to the edge here, but that's okay. I don't mind it. Be sure that it's stuck on really, really well. Now, let's see if I can get off this backing in one go. That'd be fantastic, right? Yeah. If this doesn't work, I don't think even MacGyver uh, can help. No. So let's just hope this works. Please, please, please. Well, it is gone. It is coming off. It is coming off. There you go. There you go. Now my finger is stuck. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it really doesn't want to let go. Snipping off this last bit. There you go. Oh, guys. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Let's hope this works. Um, let's be sure. This is the last one. Yeah. I'm using the last one. It's this mountain. Again, I am standing up for this. Making sure it is in the middle. Are you praying? 
Well, well, uh, I think it's working. I think it's working. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Um, one down, three to go. I'm going to do that off camera, guys, because this is very nerve wracking for me. I cannot believe it actually worked. Yeah. Look. Hello. It, it, it is like file folders. Yeah, because they move about a little bit. And that was sort of the idea behind the accordion spine. <laughs> yeah. So, very cute. I've never seen anything like this. I'm very proud. I'm very proud of me. Yes. So, let's do the finishing touches. Let's close this one up. Like so. Fantastic. I want to add one more thing to the cover. I'm all out of labels, out of these, so cannot add one more label. But I am very proud of this one. So I'm going to put something on it that says handmade, because you know, it is. Flipping it over. It is very cool. There you go. I have these. It says handmade. And I think I want to have it here. You can screw it in. But you know. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to ask my friend Drippy. To help me out here. Yeah. Come on Drippy. Go green. You can do it. Green. <laughs> it does work fast. Yes, there we go. I really like this glue gun. The problem is the, the glue dries very, very fast. So you need to be quick. Like my tape. Well, it's warm. <laughs> it's handmade. Absolutely love it. Shall we do a quick flip through? Now for the end result. I have angled my camera a little bit because I think it will show better. I love it. Let's just show, show the cover with the beautiful label, the belt. Yeah, well, a buckle, whatever you want to call it. It's handmade. And then on the back, another one of these. And here's where you open it up. And you take these out. There you go. And then we flip it open. Yes. Uh, what would I change? I would do this uh, landscape. Yeah, that's what I would change. Yes, and have a better stamp on here. But you know, that's okay. So we have the first signature where we have this big pocket. An envelope with a big pocket. Yeah, you open it up. And then we have still not enough room. <laughs> Another pocket here. We made a flap. You can put stuff in. And then all these beautiful old sort of ledger style papers where you can journal and create and such and do all sorts and i really love it um you could do some i could have done something on the back but there was no time i could have made a nice another collage or something like that and then the next stick the signature see same thing beautiful um collage on here my label big pockets no pocket here. The pocket here is on the back. I'm going to just skip the whole signature. Then there's pocket on the back. And don't forget, there's also a pocket here. Yeah. So every signature has three pockets. Two big ones and then one smaller one. Oh, I so love this. Yeah. Pocket, of course. Pocket here. Signature. Big pocket there. And the last one. Same principle. So four signatures. Um, yeah, I could have done sort of um, another pocket here. If I wish to. But it is done. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I had so much fun. It was a total experiment. If you've watched part uh, one, you know. I was like, I'm going to try it. No clue if it will work. Uh, it does work. I will make another one someday. But then I will do things different and have MacGyver next to me <laughs> instead of calling him yeah I loved it guys thanks for hanging out but if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe I'll be back again tomorrow with either 
uh, Rolodex, ABC with the letter G, or something using Michelle's freebies. And I will link that, uh, those also below, well, in my next video. I will see you guys tomorrow.